Good morning, church. Okay, before going to worship, I would like to talk something uh, which will encourage everyone to, you know, to come into the presence of God. So I was, I was, uh, been observing that uh, when any country, if they declaring the budget for the nation, I saw most of the countries are allocating their funds, you know, for the defense uh, department. Every time, even our country, I've been allocating a huge amount of money for defense department. And everybody understood that how important it is to, uh, to spend to protect our country. Okay. Right. So, uh, as a believers that we also understand something, what the Apostle Paul is telling his defense okay his defense um, will goes to second uh, Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 on verse is saying for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high that exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought the obedience of Christ he says that our fight is not a physical fight he is telling when you are Christian then you are engaged with the war your war is not physical and your war is not carnal okay but the fight when we fight that war God is going to provide the most powerful tools to us to fight against our enemy the tools are the word of God the prayer and the power of the Holy Spirit amen so the Bible says also that uh, it says that in verse uh, 5 every thought to obedience of Christ now we can understand where we are fighting. Our fight is not physical, but our fight is inside our minds and our thoughts. Okay, so God has given most powerful tools to us. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 32, it says that he that controls his mind is greater than he that controls the city. He that controls his own mind is greater than he that controls the city. So how important to uh, a believer to understand it's how important to stabilize your mind amen you may come from different places you may come from uh, you know a baggage of worry you may come from so many things are running in your mind I believe we are humans we have so many things running we, we may be thinking about our future our kids you know our family our sickness our worry our job everything let let us ask Holy Spirit to clean everything. Clear all this dust. Clear all the smoke. And let's focus unto God. Amen. Let's worship unto Him. And we'll seek God to get this most powerful strength to fight against our enemy. Amen. Okay. Let's look unto the Lord. Father God, that we come into your throne, O Lord Father, your throne of grace. Lord, so many wars are going on in our mind. Concerning about ourselves, concerning about our loved ones. O Father God, remove everything, Lord. In this time, O God Father, we need to worship you. We want to see your face, O oh God, Lord, Father. Oh, we welcome Holy Spirit in this time. Lord, you are the one who can help us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are the one 
after the beginning One with God the Lord most high Your hidden glory in creation Now revealed in you are Christ What a beautiful name what a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus Christ my King What a beautiful name it is Nothing compares to this What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus You didn't want heaven without us Jesus, you brought heaven down My sin was great, your love was greater What could separate us now? What a wonderful name what a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus Christ my King What a wonderful name it is Nothing compares to this What a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus What a wonderful name it is what a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus Christ my King What a wonderful name it is Nothing compares to this What a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus Your name is great, O oh God, Lord. What a beautiful name is it. You conquer the death. You conquer the grave, O oh Lord, Father. We believe. Death could not hold you. Wail tore before you. You silence the bow. Of sin and grave, heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory, for you are raised to life again. You have no rival, you have no equal now and for. Christ my King 
What a powerful name it is Nothing can stand against What a powerful name it is The name of Jesus What a powerful name it is What a powerful name Father, there's power in your name. There's power in your name, O oh Lord Father. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Every chain, break 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 every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Jesus, break every chain, 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 break every chain. Oh, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, 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 break every chain. Oh, there's power, there's power, there's power in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, break it every chain, Lord. Break every chain. Break every chain, 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 break every chain. Bible says that there is no power in any name. There is no power in any name. There is no that there is no name that can stand in the presence of God. There is no power can take you to the presence of God. There is only one name, which is sweetest name above every name, which is powerful above every name. Is the name of Jesus. Is the name of Jesus. Is the name of Jesus. Oh, your name is powerful, your name is wonderful, your name, your name, mm. we worship.
worship you, we worship you. We worship you. Lord, in your name, O oh God, Father, God, we ask, we seek. Father God, we find our ways, O oh God, Father, when we go away from you. In your name, in your name, Lord. In your name. In your name. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adores you. Hope of a life spent with you. Father God, this is our declaration. We leave everything and we come to this place in your throne, O God, Father, to worship. Here I am to worship. of all days. You're highly exalted. Let's sing. King of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created. Oh, for love Father, oh, before you saved me, uh, before you come to this earth to die for me, oh God, Father, we don't know what to pay for our sins, what to pay on the cross, what to pay to stand in the front of God. But you came down, you died for my place, you died for my sake, you died, oh God, Lord on the cross and you paid my debt I never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross I never know how much it costs to see my sin
Yes, fathers. I don't know how much to pay, but you did it, O oh God, Father. Oh, church, let lift your hands with gratitude of worship and just say that. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow. great Lord you're so great you're so wonderful oh God Father you're lovely you're beautiful Lord we worship you we worship you Lord Father we worship you Lord thank you Jesus thank you So highly exalted, Lord Father. You're so highly exalted. Lord, help us to open our hearts, O oh God Father, to worship you. Holy Spirit, come to this place, Lord Father. Let's everyone, O oh God Father. Lord, purge our conscience, O oh God, Lord. Take us to the throne. Before I'm going to the third song that I would like to <clears throat> encourage that when I when I met the Lord that uh, the, of course for everyone the, the, the very first Bible verse will be that John 3 16 it says God so loved the world that he given his son whoever believes in him will not perish like that the first song the most of our believers the first song will be uh, God is good all the times most probably <laughs> And the second song will be God will make a way. <laughs> so I believe this song speaks to many lives even today. Even today when I, when I, when I uh, hit by the circumstances, when I hit by the trials, the only one song which comes to my mind is God will make a way. Whether there will be no way. Only He can make a way. Amen. Because... I don't know why, I know the lyrics by heart. I believe everyone knows the lyrics. 
even you can close your eyes and sing this song no need to look onto the projector let's let's adore adore him it's let's close your eyes and open your hearts and sing unto the lord that if you are you are standing in a mist of a stuck you are standing in a mist that you are not able to see any way to go further you are standing in in something that which is not allowing you to come into the presence of god your mind is filled with so many things of this world that this is the time that just open your heart and ask him lord make a way for me God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in way we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. and strength for each new day he will make a way he will make a way god will make a way oh god will make a way where the seems to be no way he works in way we cannot see with love and strength for each new day he will make a way he will make a way by road way in the wilderness he leads me rivers in the desert God is so expert in making a way when there is no way when there is no way in front of us I always believe that when I'm standing in the front of ocean I'm not able to see the way that he is the lord my lord can able to open any ocean that can stand in my life if I am standing in the midst of any mountain I'm not able to move forward when I call unto my Lord my Lord can able to move any mountain that can stand in front of me you can name it any mountain any ocean any wall our God can able to break anything because he break every barrier to come 
to step into this world to save you he break every barrier he break every wall to save you he can able to do exceeding abundant of a wall that we ask or think or imagine even our imagination has a limit even a, even our thoughts has a limit even when we ask to the lord has a limit but when god comes into the scene that you are plugging into the unlimited realm yes. he will do something unlimited you cannot you cannot thought you cannot ask you cannot imagine father god lord we invite you in this time lord father Lord take us to the unlimited realm take to the source of God father which is unlimited erase every conscience of God father but of what we thinking that which is the source of our life erase a God father of our securities it may be the the money which is lying on our bank accounts or it may be the business which we do or it may be the job which we do Lord father take out everything lord father god is when you proved it to david that you are the real resource help our hearts and minds to understand this lord father yes. this is a cry in this morning thank you jesus we give this time into the hand of god father help us to receive the word which is on the way in jesus mighty name i pray Amen. Good morning. Good morning. It's very good to be back. <laughs> um uh, it's it, first thing is it's good to see uh, people uh, and the second is like we can all be together and um have fellowship and worship that's also a good thing um so yeah so um i thought i'll share a few um words on how my <laughs> the last one year has been uh but i mean for all of us uh it, it this was no time there was no other time like this uh and it's quite possible there'll be no time like this again uh but uh, because of um who we are as as children of god and who uh who we worship and because of his favor and mercy um we have all made it through uh you know this this period uh and uh, i personally had a lot of things happening so there was um some uncertainties at work uh uh then we had a baby so and through all of that what the one thing that i can uh you know very confidently say is that uh what took us through that is knowing that our god is in control uh because we uh, you will always get a lot of inputs advice and tips and recommendations from the world around on how to navigate these things but i think the the pandemic has shown that uh you really don't have any control right uh you no matter how much we try to kind of be prepared there'll always be something that you're not prepared for it's it's not possible for you to be prepared for things uh you know like 100% so um and in those moments mm-hmm. it's it's important for you to uh no or you to always believe that uh there is somebody who is uh, who is watching over you who is taking care of you so um so that's that's uh, and i really want to thank uh this family uh for the way you have helped us and been with us during our journey uh of becoming parents and um it's like a you almost feel like you've registered for a new course <laughs> and and you like how in college you'll ask your seniors ki kya karna hai <laughs> so <laughs> so it's almost like that you you ask for tips 
uh, and and you know how to manage uh, things. But most of all, uh, being uh, because uh, both of us, uh, we don't have too much of uh, you know relatives or family like that here. Uh, so without you, without the church family, it would have been very difficult. And I'm really you know grateful for uh, the time and the uh, the love that you have shown uh, to us. Um, and another thing which I uh, which I wanted to share was uh, now that you know we s- spend a lot of time with the baby and uh, a lot many times it's like late at night there's nothing to do it's just you and the baby so you kind of observe what the child is doing right and and what what I've noticed is uh, babies are very uh, you know. Um, they like comfort a lot, right? So they 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 have a certain. If you place them in one position, and after some day, if you try to change them from that position, then God save you, <laughs> because and I think uh, over a period of time, we think we change from that, that we have gotten more matured. But I don't think we have, right? Because all of us have our comfort spaces. It's just that maybe we don't cry as loud about it when we grow older, because you're taught that, oh, now you're big, so you can't cry, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's just like, yeah. somewhere, we are all like a, that newborn baby. We all have our comfort, uh, you know, spaces. Um, and the longer you stay there, the, the uh, like what Alex was sharing, right? The, the limitless life, right? Or the life in abundance, which God has called us to, that gets limited because we don't want to step out of our comfort zone. We are like the baby who is very calm, warm and cozy in, in our place. And then we hear a, a, a call to step out of that. We kind of get scared. But I think the first uh, step is to know that the person who's calling you out wants something that's good for you, Right. And therefore, and we can step out in confidence that he is in control, that he will take us through whatever is coming up, right? So, so I, I, I just thought, um, you know, with uh, the new baby, these are new things that I'm learning. <laughs> so I thought I'll share share with you as well. So uh, great. So it's 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 good to see all of you. Uh, and I think we have a new uh, new person who's joined us. Uh, so welcome. Let's thank you for joining. Uh, please stay back after the service so that we can we can get to know you. Um, and I'll uh, request the ushers to collect the uh, tithes and offering. In case you have already um, you know you're contributing online, you can let it pass. Uh, but otherwise, you can collect. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, I'll request Pastor to uh, come forward for the intercession. Good morning. Well, uh, many unexpected things happen. Yeah, I never thought one day we'll do a service where we have to compete with many things. But well, uh, the best part is that you see the Lord is always in control. Hallelujah. And the Lord knows how to take us forward. Yes, hallelujah. And in the midst of all the chaos that happens, the Lord is such a stable person. He's so full of rest. And that we can thrive in the midst of chaos. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, uh, in this time we see that even our nation, there is just so much challenges in the nation also. But you see, we are so comforted by the fact that God is sovereign. Hallelujah. He's the one who is uh, the ruler of the kingdoms of the earth. Hallelujah. You know, uh, when Isaiah was very worked up and he got very worked up, very scared, very intimidated when King Uzziah died, what did God do? How did God help him? We are told that God gave him a revelation of how big he is, how big his throne is. Hallelujah. He saw this revelation in Isaiah that God is high and lifted up, sitting on his throne. Yeah? And what is God saying to him? You don't need to worry. 
my throne is bigger and higher than Uzziah's throne who died. And I'm on my throne. And you have nothing to worry about. Hallelujah. And so it doesn't matter what is going through right now in the nation. We can be addressed. God is sovereign. He's, he reigns and rules in the lives of mankind. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. So let's be comforted by the fact that God is the one who is reigning on his throne. And there's nothing to worry. Yes. Every time we, we hear things that are painful for us in the nation, we have to remind ourselves that still my God is on the throne. throne. Still my God is on the throne. throne. And nothing is difficult for his hand. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you. We magnify your name. Lord, we acknowledge that you're sovereign. We acknowledge that you are the ruler in the realms of mankind. We acknowledge that you are the ruler of the kingdoms of the earth. Lord, be concerned by many things we see in our nation, Lord. But we know this, Lord, that your throne is high and lofty. And the Lord, you are the one who puts kings into place. You're the one who, Lord, they remain till your pleasure. And Lord God, we pray that let righteousness be lifted up in this nation, Lord. And let unrighteousness be trampled down in this nation, Lord. We pray that let light that is in you be lifted up and let darkness be trampled down, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we want to pray that let your fear, let your wisdom our Lord, continue to govern our political leaders, our prime minister's cabinet, that, Lord, you will take into control their thoughts and actions, and that, Lord God, your purpose will flourish in this nation, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we also pray for the farmers' protest. We pray that you will move your sovereign arm and there will be a breakthrough, and the deadlock will be broken, Lord Jesus, between our central government and between the farmers. And the Lord, what is good for the farmers is going to be worked out, Lord. Also, Father, we pray that protect this movement from the wrong elements. Give discernment to the leaders of this movement, Lord, that they'll protect this from the wrong elements, Lord Jesus. Lord, we also want to thank you for the tremendous improvement against coronavirus we see in uh, North India. But, Father, we are concerned about the situation right now in Kerala, Maharashtra. Lord, you give a breakthrough. Move your mighty arm and give a breakthrough in coronavirus, Lord, in uh, Maharashtra and Kerala. Also, Father, we pray that the vaccination, that the Lord, uh, good quality vaccination, vaccines are going to be made available even to the poorest in our nation. And that, Lord God, they would be, Lord, uh, it will be given for free to the poor in our nation, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, uh, we pray, Lord God, that, Lord, even we thank you for the peace, uh, Lord, and stability we are seeing, Lord. Uh, and we acknowledge it is your arm that has brought peace between Indian channels. We are grateful. We pray, Father, you continue to strengthen the actions of Lord, both the um, Lord political leaders and the armies of both the nations, Lord, that we will see a breakthrough. And that, Lord, that they will be further, they'll build up on the peace that has been accomplished on the border. Lord, uh, we thank you, Father, that it was your arm that stopped the war, Lord. One of the generals recently even said that even he thought that we are going to get into a full-fledged war now. So thank you, Father. It was just your hand that prevented the war between India and China. We are grateful for you did that. And we are so grateful. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, uh, we just commend Lord Jesus. Lord, this nation to you. Lord, it is a cry that, Lord, especially all the government servants, Lord, your fear will come upon them. And Lord, they will lift up the constitution, Lord. We pray you lift up justice, Lord. You said you surround the righteous, oh Lord, with fear of the shield. And Lord, we have seen your word. You said that you delight in justice, righteousness, and mercy. Lord, let justice be lifted up. Let righteousness be lifted up, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, God, let mercy be lifted up, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we want to see justice, especially Lord, all those who are Lord, put into jails, Lord, for speaking truth to power wrongly. We pray that they all be set free by your mighty arm and that, Lord, justice will become a pillar in our nation, Lord Jesus, and that even in the church will stir up people to stand up for, for things of justice, matters of justice. And, Lord, this is a cry that you would be those who, gel, who become full of zeal for justice. We ask and thank you. We commend all these things into your precious hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning to you all, the worship team and uh, everyone who has spoken up till this point of time have uh, exalted the Lord God and uh, rightly so because uh, we worship 
a living God we worship, the God who is sovereign, the God who is God of love. And it's all about him. It's not about us. Uh, Suresh will display uh, Psalm 44, verse 3. Alex, I will request you to please read loudly the verses. If you can sit there. Yeah. Read the verses. I will tell you loudly. Please read this uh, loudly. Yeah. Psalms 44, verse 3. For by their own sword they did not slay the lion, and their own arm did not save them, but your right hand and your arm, in the light of your presence, for you favored them. Let's go in prayer before we start. Father God, Lord, we thank you and we praise you. Father God, Lord, thank you for your word. Lord, uh, we say, Lord God, that, that it is your favor that uh, gives us victory. It is not uh, our strength. It is not our wisdom. There is no wisdom and no strength at all. Oh, Lord God, uh, thank you for speaking to us that you are in control. And Lord, uh, it is because of your work in and through us. Lord God, that you are the one who moves us. It is my prayer, Lord God, that you will favor all of us. Lord God, and help all of us to enter into your favor. And Lord, you will speak to us, whatever you have for us this morning. Father God, Lord, as your word says that the people with sound teaching have great well-being. So, Lord God, help us to listen to your voice and do, Lord, what you are uh, teaching us this morning by your grace and for your glory. Use us, Lord, all of us for your glory. We ask and we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I praise God for the testimony that we heard uh, from Aaron. And uh, yes, uh, we all go through seasons and we all go through a lot of challenges in our lives. But we should always remember that we are not alone. God is with us. Bible tells us that uh, by faith and through grace, we enter into the household of God. And uh, now we are uh, sealed with the uh, Holy Spirit of God. And uh, that is the beauty that now we are uh, walking and moving in his presence by his doing. And uh, we should always remember that, that our God is sovereign and he is a God of love. He is concerned about us. He is the one who moves us. Because uh, we have read uh, in this Psalm 44, verse 3, that uh, the people of old, they got victories, not by their strength, not by their own arm, but God, you favored them, you loved them. That was the secret <laughs> of their victory, and yes, that is true. Alex and uh, the team, Grace and uh, David, they the songs this, which they sung before the struggle started, with those songs which spoke the sovereignty of God, the bigness of God. And uh, the song for the children, that the Lord is the king of our heart. How many of us uh, really believe this, 
that uh, the Lord God, he is the king of our heart. Unless we make him the king of our heart, then we will uh, really struggle to move on in this journey. We are on a faith journey. And uh, one thing in the journey is that we don't have any control. And we, we don't know what will happen on the next bend, on the next turn of the road. So, we should always uh, make God first in our lives. That's the secret of victory. Hebrews 12, verse 1. Please display Hebrews 12, verse 1. Hebrews 12, verse 1. Please read loudly, Alex. Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witness surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. So God in his mercy has uh, put in the Bible a lot of witnesses, the people who have gone before us. And uh, they speak volumes about how they were able to have the victorious Christian walk. How God have used ordinary people like us to do extraordinary things. It is a beauty of our God that he uses ordinary people for <laughs> doing exploits, extraordinary works. We should always uh, have this in mind. Our Pastor Neeraj mostly uh, in his sermons, he tells us that we should remember that whose we are and who we are. We are not, not alone. The Lord is with us all the time. And that makes the difference. When we walk in a union a life with him. Today we will see uh, one witness, the life of one witness about which angel of the Lord testifies and says that this person is highly favored of the God. Angel is testifying about that man, highly favored. And when we see the life of that person and learn the lessons from that, an ordinary man like us, then uh, it is my prayer that the Lord will help us and encourage us from that life. That because of uh, the presence of God in our lives, we can also do exploits. Even uh, uh, in the New Testament, we are in a better place because the witnesses in the Bible mostly uh, we talk about the Old Testament people, but in the New Testament, because of the cross work, even we are in a better position to do even better and glorify God through our lives. Meeting all the challenges and uh, not walking as defeated. Yes, there are challenges. There are situations that shout and scream at us that this is uh, impossible, we can't uh, handle this situation. We have seen the coronavirus situation, how God uh, has taken us through, all of us, through that. And everyone has the testimony about the goodness of God <laughs> in our lives. So, we have to... Uh, learn lessons from the witnesses which have gone before us. And God in his mercy have put them 
for our instructions. That's why it is so important that we should be the student of the world and work with the provisions which are given in the Bible and the world. Uh, please, uh, uh, so let's play Daniel 9.23. We will be talking about the life of Daniel and uh, how this witness uh, will encourage us today also, God, wants that we do even better than Daniel. Daniel uh, was... Uh, the advisor to many kings uh, and uh, he got favor from everyone. So we will see if, uh, from this, please read loudly this. Mm. At the beginning of your supplications, the command was issued and I have come to tell you for you are highly esteemed. So give heed to the message and gain understanding of Oh, here we see that angel of the Lord is testifying about Daniel. This testimony can be ours also because Daniel was one among us. And as we look to his life in detail today from the book of Daniel, then we will be able to see that uh, the exploits, because um, at one place in the book of Daniel, it is written that the, all those who know their God shall display strength and take action. So Daniel knew his God and displayed strength and took action. And he was uh, a very... A busy person, he was uh, second to in command to the kings. He was in a very high position. You can say in today's uh, uh, setup, maybe the chief secretary of, uh, or the principal secretary for the prime minister. You can see his busyness. And uh, how come that uh, Daniel was highly favored by the kings, by God. And we have seen already at this point of time that the favor of God is a game changer. It is the favor of God. That is the key that we should uh, capture today. The whole message is summed up the favor of God is a game changer. Favor of God is the key. Because uh, in the beginning we have read from the Psalm 44 verse 3 that it is not our strength, it is not our wisdom that gives us victory, but it is uh, the favor of God, the love of God, that he is the one who helps us to have a victorious Christian work. We should always uh, have this in mind because we belong to a sovereign God. Nothing is impossible with God. Impossible uh, things uh, with man are possible with God. Nothing is impossible uh, with Him. And uh, the favor of God is given for the assignment because God gave assignment had in mind the assignment for Daniel we will see. And uh, there are dimensions of favor, there are levels of favor in the uh, lives of people, which speaks volumes about the love of God, favor of God, the sovereignty of our God. So uh, let us uh, now uh, uh, see the choices that Daniel made in his life. It is very important that uh, what choices we make in our lives. God has not made us robots and puppets. He has given us the freedom of choice. 
It has not computer, computerized us. And the choices we make makes a difference. We will be having a victorious Christian walk or will we be walking defeated? We will we have a testimony like Daniel or we are not able to have a good testimony in our lives. Our choice is very important to make and we will see the choices that Daniel made by the grace of God and for the glory of God that we are now talking about that life to learn the ways of God because the ways of God that take us to God. Way to Delhi will take us to Delhi and way to Jaipur will take us to Jaipur. So the ways are important and the choices God has given to us and it is here we make most of us make mistakes in our choices. So we will see that uh, first choice which uh, Daniel made the book of Daniel uh, tells us uh, Suresh, please. Uh, Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. Please read loudly. Ah, yes, please. But Daniel made up his mind that he would not defile himself hmm. with the king's choice food hmm. Hmm. or with the wine which hmm. he drank. So hmm. he sought permission from the commander of the officials, hmm. he might not defend himself. So the first thing, uh, the first choice that we are also required to make is, which uh, God helped Daniel to make, is undefilement. Because uh, Bible says that uh, our sin separates us from God. And uh, when we are separate from God, then we are nothing. The Bible says that without Him, we can do nothing. But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. And he asked the chief official of the, for the permission not to defile himself this way. If we uh, look few verses before it, uh, verse 8, if we see, look to the verses 1 to 7, then uh, we can see here the background. And uh, making this choice was not easy. For us also, making godly choices in this uh, the world today are not easy. We have to struggle. We have to have the grace of God to make right choices. God in His mercy have taught us from where we have to make our choices. Bible speaks about our choices. Bible has the heart of God, has the mind of God. What He what is pleasing to him? Because our choices please him or displease him. And if we displease someone, it is difficult to take a favor from him. So it is very important to make choices which God helped Daniel to do. We will see a few choices which Daniel made and it is my prayer that God challenges us also to make those choices. Because these choices please God. And when we please God, then we are in the favor of God. So the first choice Daniel made was not to defile himself. So we have to make this choice. It was not easy for Daniel to make this choice because he was a he was a captive slave. He was in uh, the uh, another kingdom. 
and uh, mostly the captives and and the, it is difficult for them to make their independent choices or to stand up and say <laughs> few things <laughs> to the people who are over them <laughs> it's not easy but praise be to god that because uh, daniel knew his god and he was uh, very intimate with god he always in the presence of god he was uh, having a manifest presence of god that made the difference he was having no fear because he only feared god because fear of god drives out all other fears the bible tells us and uh, then he it is a question of resolve it is a question of decision decisions are to be made by us no one will make a decision for me i have to make a decision for myself i am responsible for the consequences what decisions i make then god says that everything is permissible but everything is not beneficial <laughs> so that that has to be seen ki what is uh, beneficial for me when i walk here in this world because god says that it is my desire that you bear fruit you you be fruitful and our choices will help us in this regard so the first thing the first choice that daniel made we are also required to make we should examine ourselves am i making right choices or am i at a place of disobeying the word of god ways of god i can't complain that i don't know what choices i am required to make god has put everything in the holy bible he has put everything that's why it is important to work with the word we have to make a choice to be the student of the world that is uh, uh, the first thing the first choice that daniel made because our sin separates us from god and the moment we are separated from god then we because bible says that the fruit comes by abiding by by abiding wine and branch connection if the wine is plugged in separated from the branch is separated from the wine then it is difficult because it will not abide in the wine the branch will not abide in the so it cannot be a fruit in that so this is the first thing first uh, choice which uh, daniel made is un- defilement he resolved he make a he, he make a choice many times uh, we make a choice but in the especially in the new year resolutions we say this year lord in the first day of the year we say i will spend time with you and spiritual disciplines and uh, but i think after a week because our will power is no power it is a power of god that is working in through us that uh, help us to take the resolves the determination holy spirit inspired determination is needed uh, in this so this is the first choice we have to, we are to make and uh, we have to examine ourselves are we making this choice or not then the consequences we have to face the choices god has given us to make the choices the second choice that daniel made is in in the same here uh, daniel 1 verses 8 to 12 alex please read loudly 8 to 12 but daniel made up his mind that he would not defile himself with the king's choice food mm. or with the wine which he drank so he sought permission from the commander of the region that mm. he might not defile himself 
Thank you. So here the, the second choice uh, which Daniel made was that he was humble. He was not proudly, he was not rude. He has not gone his own way. And he requested the in charge that please give us the vegetables and water and And the concern of the, the in charge of Daniel was that, that if they will not take the rich food, the, the choice was made by the king himself, and then you will look weak, then uh, the king will be after me, and I will be in trouble. So here we see that how Daniel is also satisfying the heart of the, his senior of, who is in charge of the food. He's humbling himself and he's saying and, and telling him also that you test us after 10 days. And if we read further, uh, then we find that they were tested because the training of these um, people, well, they were in a three years training because they have to uh, work in the uh, king's palace. So after the training, we, we read further that uh, Daniel and his, his, his three friends who were taking water and vegetables, not the king's uh, food and not defiled. They have not defiled themselves with this food. And Daniel humbled also in front of the officer. Because uh, we should always remember that when we are working in the office, we can get more work and more fear from our bosses when we humble ourselves, not by fighting with them. <laughs> because God has placed those people above us. So Daniel actually knew this also. And uh, he was very wise. God has given him a lot of wisdom. And then he's, he has also is able to take care of the heart of the office. He's, he's in charge. Can you test us? And then they were found, um, um, when they were tested, then they were found 10 times better, Bible records here, of the other trainees. And not only in the physical health, but wisdom, knowledge. And the king himself took, um, saw all these trainees himself, talked with them, and the king is testifying about this, that they are 10 times better. And here we also read that God caused the favor of the in charge of Daniel and he allowed him taking a risk, even for 10 days. <laughs> so that is, a favor comes from God that we should always see. Again and again we will find here that it is the, the Lord only who, who favors us. And uh, we are now seeing the choices we are making to get into the favor of God. 
The first choice which Daniel made was undefilement. Second was humility. Because at one place, Bible says that God opposes the proud and he gives grace to humble. Grace is unmeasured favor. We don't deserve, we get it. First time when I heard about this word grace, then my mind went back to when in my high school test, one teacher gave me grace mark. I was not able to pass the test. <laughs> so grace, <laughs> is, I never deserved that. <laughs> but God, God is the one who, who favors us and the unmerited favor. But the choice is that God gives grace to humble and opposes the proud. Pride has a fall. So we have to be very, very careful about our choices. Let's go to the third choice Daniel made. Uh, we will go to Daniel 6, verse 4. Daniel 6, verse 4. Please read loudly. Then the commissioner and satraps began trying to find a ground of accusation against Daniel mm. in regard to government affairs, but they could find no ground of accusation or evidence of corruption. Mm. And somewhat as he was faithful and no negligence or no corruption was to be found in him. Oh, amazing. See, uh, this uh, uh, third choice that Daniel made was that, and uh, his life is reflecting this, that he was a man of faith. He was a person to be trusted. In this today's world, uh, I have also worked uh, in the government offices for about 33 years. And um, it is very, very, very difficult to find people with this, uh, this quality, which um, I will again uh, reiterate this, because this is a very important, because most of uh, people who are sitting here, they are working in the corporate offices and offices. And that is, uh, they can relate to this also. So it's important that, uh, let me again read this. Uh, from the Bible, what it says, yes. At this, the administrators and the strapas tried to find grounds for charges against Daniel. Because in the office, we have jealousies and we have competitions and people, by hook or crook, they want to show off. But they're exposed uh, quite early. At this, the administrators and the sarpas tried to find grounds for charges against Daniel in his conduct of government affairs, but they were unable to do so. They could, not, could find no corruption in him because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt nor negligent. Just see, and uh, it is my prayer that God helps all of us here. Uh, by his grace, to be trustworthy in our workplaces, giving glory to God, because that gives glory to God. That, hey, we are not in the crowd. We are specific. I still remember once uh, uh, when I was working as an executive engineer and the construction work, one of my... Um, employee and uh, worker, and they, he complained against me and uh, about the division that work is not being done properly. And uh, that complaint uh, came to my boss, and he has not even asked me about my comments on this, and he replied that I know the officer. And this is false. Later he told me and showed me the complaint also that I should be alert about the people. 
who are working under me and uh, so praise be to god that it is only i it is only the lord who helps us to it is only in his strength that we because there are temptations to become rich overnight and all kind of things are done we all know but but they are exposed sooner or later it is better that we walk in integrity and honesty let's move further and uh, uh, daniel uh, uh, please uh, display daniel 2 verses 27 28 we will see another choice of daniel here Daniel answered before the king and said, As for the mystery about which the king has inquired, mm. may the wise men, conjurers, mm. magicians, mm. and more diviners, mm. are able to declare it to mm. the king. Mm. However, there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries, mm. and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar mm. what will take place in the later days. This was your dream, the vision in your mind, why it So here we see that uh, Daniel walked in full confidence in his God. Daniel walked in full he was uh, not shaky about his God, the sovereignty of his God, the bigness of his God. He was not wavering. He was having full full 100% confidence in his God. If we uh, read a little um before this portion then uh, we will see the the what is the mystery here actually the king nabu who was the king at that point of time and daniel was his advisor and he told his wise people that i have a, a dream and i am troubled about the dream just see the king was troubled he was having everything physically possible all the army at his command all the physical strength he was but he was troubled <laughs> even even with a dream he was troubled what to talk of when actually he is attacked many times we get even troubled in a dream then he said to the wise people that i had a dream it troubled me so you tell me the dream and also interpret it that what it means the wise man said that is uh, no person on earth can do that please tell us your dream and we will interpret it but king said no you have to tell my my dream and interpret it otherwise you all will be killed oh the punishment was very harsh and then he was also on those wise people and so here we see the confidence of daniel that there is a god who reveals mysteries <laughs> and uh, instead of complaining grumbling he was walking in the rest of god peace of god and we will see that uh, how um, god helped him to do this as we move further but here the point is that we must have we should never be shaky that our god will not uh, answer our prayers what we are asking from him then he knew that these mysteries are only revealed in prayer when we turn to him for help he helps he was not shaky he was having full confidence that's very important many times we lose confidence when our prayer answer to our prayers are delayed waiting period becomes longer in our lives and we become shaky we should not there is a, 
We should learn these lessons from these witnesses who have gone before us for a victorious Christian walk. But the key is the favor of God, of our victory in every situation. That we have to capture that key today. So let's go further. Um, Daniel 5, verses 10, 11, and 14. Okay, that's, that's okay. Now here we see that uh, Daniel was moving with the fragrance of God. Are we walking, people are able to see that we are uh, not in the crowd, we are something which we have more than the crowd in your workplaces, in, in our area of influences. So that is important because Daniel knew the significance of intimacy with God, presence of God, that uh, manifest presence of God was on him. Are we moving with that? That we have to examine. Let's move further. Daniel 9 uh, verses 1 to 3 and uh, 17 to 19. Please quickly read. Yes, one, two, three. And. The first year of Darius, mm. son of Ansiris of Media, who, said, who was made king over the kingdom of the Chaldeans, mm. in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, observed in the books of the number of the years, mm. which was revealed as the word of the Lord to Jeremiah, mm. the prophet for the completion of the desolation of mm. Jerusalem, mm. namely 70 years. Mm. So I gave my attention to the Lord. Mm. To Mm. By prayer and supplications, mm. with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. Here we see that Daniel was a student of the Bible, student of the world. Are we student of the world? He, spiritual disciplines, meditation, prayer, walking filled with the Holy Spirit, sharing, loving. So spiritual disciplines are, are really very important that take us to the Lord. And we really ignore these spiritual disciplines. Here we see that he was a student of the Bible and then we see how his prayer is answered. Please, 7 to 19, the same chapter, 9. See the prayer, the, his, his intercession. He was a very effective intercessor. So now our God listened to the prayer of your servant mm. and to his supplications and for your sake. Mm. O Lord, let your face shine on the desolation, desolate sanctuary. Mm. O my God, incline your ear and hear, open your eyes and see your desolation. Mm. And the city which is called by your name, for we are not presenting our supplication mm. before you mm. on account of any merits of our own, but on Account of your great compassion, mm. O Lord, hear, O Lord, forgive, O Lord, listen, and take action for your own sake. O my God, do not delay, because your city and your people are called by your name. See the burden. 
of Daniel while he was praying. See the identification. Daniel um, was not at a place of sin, but the people, he was praying for the people, he was identifying with the people. Are we intercession, effective intercessors? We have to examine ourselves. Next, Daniel 6.10. Daniel 6.10. He knew that degree signed and he was to be thrown into the lion's den if he is not agreeing to the decree passed. And in spite of all that, he was not disturbed because he was practiced in prayer. As he used to do earlier, he used on that day also. He used to pray three times a day. Just to see a busy person like Daniel can find time. Our person here says that we have to give the uh, we have to give the price of time. <laughs> so that's important that we have to learn this lesson of giving time in prayer. And then he was a man of thanksgiving. Daniel 2, please. Uh, Daniel 2, 19 to 23. Daniel 2, 19 to 23. Please note these verses and work uh, at home because of lack of time. Couldn't uh, give you the explanation on this in details. And the mystery was revealed to Daniel mm. in, in a night vision. Mm. Daniel blessed the God. Mm. Mm. Daniel said, Let the name of God be blessed forever and ever. Mm. For wisdom and power belong to him. Mm. It is he who changes the times and the epochs. Mm. He removes kings and establishes kings. Mm. He gives wisdom to wise men mm. and knowledge to men of understanding. It is he who reveals the profound and hidden things. He knows what is in the darkness, mm. and the light dwells with him. Mm. To you, O God of my fathers, I give thanks and praise, for you have given me wisdom and power. Even now you have made known to me what we requested of you, for you have made known to us the king's matter. Oh. Here we see that um, Daniel was uh, walking full of thanksgiving. Are we... People who are working with thanksgiving. Many times when we get answer to our prayers, the first uh, thing should be that we should thank him because he has given us the answer. He is the one who has given us a deliverance. Many times we forget to thank him. We should always be the first to thank him because this is the way of God. It pleases God. And helps us to enter in the favor of God when we please Him. There are many qualities which, uh, because of the lack of time and the many choices Daniel made, I'm not able to talk about all the qualities of Daniel as revealed in this book of Daniel. Please read at home and you will know. Now, the last quality was uh, very important, and please pay attention, that Daniel was walking in steadfastness. He was a fearless man. And he was steadfast, he was not wavering. Daniel 5, verses 22 to 31, it this captured that he was steadfast. Please read quickly. The time is uh, running short. <laughs> and, have not humbled your heart, even though you knew all this. But you have exalted yourself against the Lord of heaven, mm. and they have brought the vessels of his house before you, mm. you and your nobles, your wives and your concubines, mm. have been drinking wine from them, and you have praised the gods of silver and gold, of bronze, iron, wood and stone, which do not see, hear or understand, but the God in whose hand are your life, 
bread and all your ways, you have not glorified. Then the hand was sent from him, and this inscription was written out. Now, this is the inscription that was written out. Many, many people mm. mm. of Hassan. Mm. This is the interpretation of the message. Many, God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. Tickle, you have been weighted on the scales and found division. This, your kingdom has been divided and given over to the Medes and mm. the Persians. Mm. The, the Belsha gave order and they brought Daniel with purple and put a necklace of gold around his neck and issued proclamation concerning him that he now had authority as the third ruler in the kingdom. That same night, Belshazzar and the Chaldean king was slain. So that so Darius the, the Medi received the kingdom at about the age of sixty. We see here it is very difficult to it is very difficult to tell the king about uh, uh, the dreams which are dangerous. King could have put him in the prison also. So it is very, very... Um, he was fearless. What made him fearless? Because he was with the favor of God. He knew the ways of God and, and he displayed strength. Now the important thing is, what was the reward of Daniel? And if we do these things, then... God has a reward which he has for Daniel and uh, we, we will uh, see that now. Daniel 12 verse 13, please read quickly. Daniel 12 verse 13. But as for you, mm. go your way to the end. Mm. And you will enter into rest and rise again for you, your allotted portion at the end of the age. So inheritance is given to him, rich inheritance is given to him a place of favor and a place of pleasing, always victory. That is the inheritance which Daniel was uh, assured. And the important thing is that how we can get this favor of God. That is very, very important. And for that we will go to Proverbs 3, 3, 4. That captures how we can enter this. Please. Proverbs 3, 4. Proverbs 3, okay. uh, verses 3 and 4. Do not, do not let kindness and truth leave you. Mm. Bind them around your neck. Mm. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and good repute in the sight of God and man. Daniel really um, uh, captured this thought and he was walking in this mercy and truth and love. And... Uh, we will also read one uh, Psalm 5 verse 12 also and close with that. Mm. Please. Psalm 5 verse 12. For it is you who bless the righteous man, O Lord, to surround him with favor as with a sheep. Oh... It is you, O oh Lord, who bless the righteous and surround him with favor as a shield. So we can see here that the, here we are not talking about self-righteousness. This is the righteousness in God's perspective. Uh, anyone who puts his trust in Jesus by faith and through grace, we enter in this, into this righteousness. And it is a prayer that if anyone uh, who wants this favor, that uh, the first thing is that he has to be in righteousness in God's perspective. And then the God's favor, because He favors the righteous. And uh, God bless you all. This is what I wanted to share. Thank you. Well, um, it's amazing that He could preach with all the all the disturbance. I think I would have struggled far more than Him. <laughs> and uh, and praise God that each one of you persevered in listening. Yeah, and you know, uh, one of the things I firmly believe is this. God intensifies His grace when unexpected things come up. You know, I remember the first time I was asked to translate for someone. You know, I was feeling, I will not do to grasp the sermon now that I have to translate. 
and i was scribbling but the lord you know reminded me that it's a privilege to serve me so i said okay i'm going to serve the lord anyway but what was amazing was you know i was able to remember so much more than i ever expected when i translated for the preacher <laughs> in fact i remember in fact when i translated such a grace was multiplied to me that when i went and said i could write down word by word the whole sermon <laughs> what's the point i'm making even today we went through a, a difficult situation we went through a lot of disturbance but i believe that god multiplied grace to us because he sees that you know there are things beyond our control you know we love you we always trying to do the best for you as a as, as trustees or as the pastoral team but so many things are beyond our control but i believe that god multiplied grace to us to him to preach and to us to listen and uh, so you know praise be to god that he according to our situation our circumstances god is the one who multiplies yes. grace you know there was a <clears throat> there was a lady called um, any johnson flint and she loved the lord but she would she had become very sick over a period of time and uh, you know someone asked her that you know you have so much sicknesses but how come you are praising god and she said you know god multiplies grace when the burdens grow greater hallelujah and so um, with added trials he added his mercy yeah so this is something that always encouraged me that god always multiplies grace according to the challenges that we are facing hallelujah and you know um, i want to encourage you that favor is a big deal okay favor is a big deal can you say that favor is a game changer favor is a game changer favor of god is a game changer in you know in one of the psalm it says that the israelites did not win the war by their own arm but it was you who you favored them hallelujah the israelites did not win against mighty armies by their own military strength or genius but the bible says because you favored them hallelujah so the favor of god makes us win against enemies that are too big or strong for us hallelujah and so favor is something we should be aspiring for and you know nothing in the kingdom happens without declarations and decrees okay so you and i every morning should be saying lord you said you surround the righteous with favor as with a shield today i am expecting favor wherever i go with the people who matter hallelujah nothing happens in the kingdom without faithful decrees okay christ is the high priest of my confession okay confession is not just i'm sorry lord that's a part of confession confession also is agreeing with god agreeing with god's thoughts about things yeah and the devil always wants that we become people who shut up you know the devil always wants to shut our mouth he so wants to distract us always that our mouth is shut but god wants us to use this mouth he wants us to use this mouth to open up things so if god said he surround the righteous with favor as with a shield then he does that and you know those who have put their faith in jesus christ they have been given his robes of righteousness hallelujah we could never never become acceptable in the sight of god in our own with our own strength our own, you know our righteousness will be right before god his standards are here this is the best i can do but when i put my faith in christ his robes of righteousness put on me and i'm brought here hallelujah and so and and so you see that his robes of righteousness when god looks those robes on us the favor of god is evident and multiplied you know you don't have your introduction in grace until you become a child of god isn't it it is the robes of righteousness that have come to us as a gift that qualify us for the favor of god but you see there are dimensions of favor not every believer walks in the same dimension of favor the bible says even christ our lord when he came on earth as a man and he was 100% god and 100% man but we are told in his humanity he grew in favor and stature with god and man so there are dimensions of favor that people operate in not every believer walks in the same dimension of favor but in the end my father he he read to us from proverbs there is a key in proverbs chapter 3 3 to 4 very powerful key about favor do not let truth and kindness leave you tie them on the tablet of your heart then you will find favor and good repute with 
God and man. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. So do not let go of Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. Do not let go of the truth that is in him. Hallelujah. And do not let go of kindness and mercy. The more you will fellowship with the kindness you have received from God to Christ, the more you can be kind and merciful. Hallelujah. We always give out of the abundance of what I have received. Isn't it? So mercy is so important. Kindness is so important. And you know, another thing I found that is a big magnet for favor is wisdom. Wisdom opens a favor. Like it's like favor on steroids is opened up for you if you walk in God's wisdom. <laughs> you know, the whole world is wanting to be around people who have wise behavior, people who are wise. People just have a, who operate in a wisdom that comes from God. Hallelujah. And we are told that God is the source of all wisdom. Yes? So many times when difficult things happen, we believers are also tempted to grab a hold of the wisdom from below, the demonic, down here earthly wisdom. And God says, don't do that. There is a wisdom that comes from above. And James tells us that, you know, that wisdom that comes from above, some, some qualities about that wisdom. It is pure, peaceable, reasonable, full of mercy, without hypocrisy. Hallelujah. Look at those words. It is pure, peaceable, without hypocrisy, full of mercy. Are we operating in that kind of wisdom? Precious people, Lord, please don't yield to the wisdom that the world yields to. You know, even yesterday, I, I, I'd gone to take a book for my child and I saw that the guy was in the school giving the book, his, his hand was broken. So I said, what happened to you? He said, I, someone hit me. And he said then with very boldly, he said, I bashed him up. He was so proud that he bashed up the guy who broke his hand. <laughs> and I said, you didn't need to bash him up. He said, no, no, sir, what are you You see. So, he was so proud of the fact that he bashed up somebody. Because that man hit his hand. <laughs> so, so that's the wisdom of below. If, if two cars touch in North India, what happens? Both shout and scream loud. Because we are taught in a culture, whoever scream most loud will get away with it. <laughs> but are you and I supposed to do that as a child of God? Should I also do that? If, if, if someone hits my car, am I also going to shout and scream louder than the other fellow? <laughs> or am I going to operate in the wisdom that comes from God? The wisdom of God draws tremendous favor for us. I have experienced tremendous favor of God just because of operating the wisdom of God. And a wisdom that so often we don't have, but Holy Spirit uses the scriptures to release it to us. So many times, you know, one is in a difficult situation and one prays, and the Holy Spirit will remind me of some stories in the Bible, some, some characters in the Bible, some verse in the Bible. And I know that's, that is the answer here. That's what I need to do here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it just changes everything. The wisdom of God changes everything. Wise behavior gives tremendous breakthroughs for us. Ruth walked in tremendous favor. You know, she was holding on to truth. The Bible says that she left with Naomi saying, your people are my people, your God is my God. She left her so-called gods and she grabbed a hold of whom? Yahweh. The Bible says she took shelter under the wings of Yahweh. So she caught hold of the truth in Yahweh. And the Bible tells us she was a very merciful woman. She was taking care of a bitter mother-in-law. And the mother-in-law was telling her, you know, I am a bitter person, leave me alone. You are young, go get married to somebody, leave me alone. And the girl is saying, no, your people are my people, your God is my God. And she's taking care of a bitter woman, an old bitter woman. And what's really amazing is the first time itself when uh, 
this what's the Boaz? The first time it's happened when Boaz, when Boaz uh, meets her, and she says, "Why are you being so kind to me?" <laughs> she she asks the question, "Why have how why are you being so favorable to me?" She asks him. Isn't that interesting? Are you able to recognize favor? You know, many times I feel we believers can be so drunk with the things of the world. We don't even recognize favor. We beat up the person God is sending to give us favor and we embrace the person who the devil is setting up to beat us down. We enter into the wrong door so often because we're so drunk with the things of the world. But this woman was not drunk. You know, this guy treated her so kindly and you know, she was like, she recognized that. She was like, who am I that you treat me with such kindness? And he, and, and he says to her, it has been reported to me all the kindness you have done for your mother-in-law. Mm-hmm. Wow. People talk about the good things and the bad things we do. You know, he had heard great things about this woman without even meeting her. And he said, you know, she asked him, why are you treating me so well? And he said, I have heard how you have taken care of your mother-in-law. Isn't it amazing? What kindness you have shown to your mother-in-law. There are things that people talk, the good and the bad. There's a saying, your reputation precedes you. <laughs> In our culture, we have this thing, your reputation precedes you. You know, I remember, I was in this, I was in a, 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 a an old college friend called me into a Zoom meeting in, a, in Gulf, some, you know, with his Gulf friends. And interesting, you know, there, there was a guy there, I never met him. But he's telling me, I know your Bonnie's mentor is telling me. I've never met the guy. You know, talk spreads, good and the bad. But we see this common thread in the Bible. Proverbs 3, 3 and 4 is proved in the lives of so many of the witnesses. And if you and I are going to be people who walk in this game changer of a thing called favor of God, it's going to happen through as we cling to truth and mercy. And you have to keep expecting and declaring the favor of God, which is your portion. Every day when you get up, you should be declaring and decreeing. Lord, you said you're on the righteous with favor with a shield. Today as a God, I'm expecting distinguishing favor from people I meet. Hallelujah. Because you gave me the robes of righteousness. So I expect it. So... Nothing happens in the kingdom of God without the decrees, without confessions and agreeing with God. Why? Because with the heart you believe, resulting in righteousness. But with the mouth you confess, confess, resulting in what? Salvation, the work of the Savior made operative for us. Hallelujah. All right, great. Uh, we, we should, uh, we'll just close now. I want you to just take some time, precious people of God. To think through uh, the word that has come to us and think of three things as you as you are going to now respond to the word. One, what are you going to praise or thank God for because of the word that has come to you? That's the first thing to think about. Second thing, is there anything to confess because of the word of God that has come to you? Third thing, what are you going to apply or do differently because of the word that has come to you. One or two things that you will do differently or pray differently because of the word of God that has come to you. Hallelujah. Let's take some time to think through these three things. please. You know, this is a very important time when we speak back to God. God speaks to transform us, not just to inform us. And when he sends a word to us, he wants to hear our response. He wants to hear our reaction, our response to him. The Lord has sent his word to us. We need to now speak back to the Lord. Yeah. This is your time to talk to the Lord. And even as you are, you are speaking to the Lord, I'm going to request uh, the worship team to come. And I want them to lead us in... Uh... Alex, have you heard this? Are you heard of this song? Great are your mercies, Lord. Great are your mercies towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Great. Can you, can you do that for us? Yeah. Great are your mercies towards me. Your loving kindness towards me Your tender mercies as I see 
day after day forever faithful towards me and you're always providing me great is your mercies towards me great is your grace great are your mercies towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercies i see day after day forever faithful towards me you're always providing for me great are your mercies towards me day after day forever faithful towards me you're always providing for me great are your mercies towards me great is your grace great is your mercies towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercies as i see day after day forever faithful towards me you're always providing for me great are your mercies towards me great is your grace great are your mercies towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercies as i see day after day forever faithful towards me you're always providing for me great are your mercies towards me day after day Hallelujah. Great are his mercies towards us. Hallelujah. And it's because of the performance of another on our behalf. One of the things that's most amazing is this amazing abundant life, this amazing salvation has come as a gift to us because of the performance of another on our behalf on the cross. Hallelujah. You know, all this abundant favor we enjoy is because of what the Lord Jesus did on the cross for us. not something that we performed and got from god hallelujah and as we learn to walk more in harmony with the holy spirit the holy spirit will take us into greater dimensions of favor and so may god help us to continue people who value grow in value in the holy spirit hallelujah is the holy spirit he is the one he is the one who takes us into helps us to go deeper into dimensions of favor he is the one because you see the father has promised a great salvation the son purchased this great salvation with his blood but there's the holy spirit who applies this great salvation to the children of god hallelujah hallelujah we can do this song uh, elix spirit of the living god fall afresh on you you know that song spirit of the living god fall afresh on me spirit of the living god fall afresh on 
melt me, mold me, fill me, lead me, spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Man. Fall afresh on me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you, Lord, for your peace. There's a puzzle comprehension that guards the heart and mind in Christ Jesus. We thank you for your commitment, your determination to take people like us, covering people forward in you. We thank you for your great love, Lord. Make us more and more usable. Make us more and more teachable, more and more usable, Lord. Change, Lord, what needs to change in us, but make us more and more usable for your kingdom purposes. Oh, show us our blind spots, Lord. Oh, Lord God, who can discern his errors, O oh Lord? Acquit us of hidden faults. Don't let sin's assumption, presumption rule over us, and then we'll be acquitted of great transgressions. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing and acceptable in your sight, rock or redeemer. Lord, help us to deal with the speech of our heart if it's not right. Let it not become the speech of our mouth. Let us deal with it when it's the speech of our heart. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your word, for the Holy Spirit, for your name, for your blood. You have given us so much help because of the success of the cross of Christ, because of the finished work of the cross, Lord. We acknowledge, Lord, that you, Lord, tasted death for us, that we would have abundant life, Lord Jesus. You, O oh Lord, has died on that cross on behalf of us for the sins of the world, that now whoever shall believe in shall not perish, but have eternal life. Oh, Lord Jesus, we are grateful. We are grateful for, Lord, your work on the cross that has opened up salvation for us. Lord, open eyes to see we are blessed to be a blessing. I pray, Father, that with every passing day we will grow as men and women who will grow in being a blessing to people around us because we are so blessed by what you have done on that cross. Oh, Lord, make us people who are growing in a consciousness of the fact that we are mightily blessed because of the performance of one another on our behalf and that we would become a blessing to many because we are so freely, richly blessed, first by you. We praise you, we thank you, magnify. And I come into precious people to you and your word, which is able to build them up and give them the inheritance from the sanctity. But I just bless your people. I speak all men of wholeness and bless upon your people. Lord, I want us to bless this hotel management. Prosper them, bless them. Lord, let them have a personal relationship with you. Prosper their businesses. Lord, meet their needs, spoken and unspoken. 
also lot the precious people in our church who could not come to the service so watching who will be who are watching this recording who will be watching the recording we commend them also to you meet their spoken and spoken needs strengthen them oh lord help them to go deeper in your word will and we also we pray for the diaspora we pray for the lord uh, brothers from africa so from africa watch these recordings also people who you hand of providence has brought to watch this recording who is watching the recording right now we bless them lord help them to go deeper in your word will and we establish them in your ways let shalom break forth mightily in their lives is blessed we just bless everyone who's here and everyone who's watching this recording we just bless these people in the matchless name of lord jesus christ we ask and thank you in jesus name the love of the father the grace of our lord jesus christ and the sweet communion of the holy spirit with us now and forever amen i uh, you can please remain seated for the announcements